Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Thinking I'm down for the Peen's Beach Bum here. At 6 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. And wherever you're watching from, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for your questions. I'm going to answer a couple of them. First, I'll show you the first coating of the blue roofs. Unfortunately, uh, we had some rain last night. The paint's not totally dry. <clears throat> so some of it peeled. That'll be fixed with the second coating. Hopefully it'll be dry enough and it won't rain again. But the blue looks good anyway. So all the metal roofs got the first coat last yesterday. They worked well, me and Grace, my wife, went to Cabana Tuan, a two hour drive. I wasn't able to post yesterday or take any videos. And the reason is I use my camera for navigation and also for music with two apps, one called Waze, one called Spotify. So when I'm using that, I cannot videotape the ride because I don't have any other equipment. I don't have a backup camera or phone. So that's the reason. Also, when we get into town there, there's not much to film. It's just a busy kind of town. And we get in the malls. They're pretty much empty. Yes, you're allowed in. You can shop. But there's not a whole lot of people out and about still because we're locked down. So there's not a whole bunch of things to, sh to show you that's interesting. Also, they don't really like you filming inside the malls. You can film on the streets and in the parking lots. But I don't think you want to see that. really not much to show you. Oh, Jimmy forgot to close the bunny cage. Well, the bunnies are doing okay. Jimmy gave him some uh, grass. I'll give him some greens later. No little bunnies yet. So that's why I don't film inside. That's why I didn't film in Cabana Tuan. Maybe one day when I have better equipment I can film some of the ride. Like when I can afford a GoPro or something like that. Also somebody uh, asked about my video that I filmed in town on the tricycle. Right in town. I tried to answer your questions uh, personally but uh... It was just three of us going, me, my wife, and Jennifer. Jennifer's a neighbor. She's a good friend of my wife's. She takes us all the time, so I don't have to drive the truck. <clears throat> Excuse me, through the dirt road all the time. Because as you could see, it's not a fun road to be on. Too many potholes until it's all fixed. Um, the ride in the town is about 15 minutes. I really don't know how long it is. I've never tracked it. It's probably uh, at least a mile, maybe two. And yes, there is one 7-Eleven. 
but there's no kind of Walmarts or anything like that. They're not allowed in the Philippines. If they allowed a Walmart here, they would destroy the business of everybody else. All the little businesses would be destroyed. So that's why they don't allow big companies here like that. It would be great, but it's not going to happen. Nowhere in the Philippines is there a Walmart. Seven Elevens, yes. They're all over the place. But they're expensive. If you want good stuff, if you want American stuff, way more expensive than the little sorry sorry stores. So now we're just waiting for the guys to arrive. They're gonna put a second coating on everything. And we had a little power outage last night, so we used the generator just for less than an hour. So it was a good test. But the problem was we got a lot of exhaust fumes coming out of it. So we gotta fix that problem because I don't want anybody breathing exhaust fumes. I had them close these windows here and the ones in the back, but you can still smell it because it's uh, back here, back of the house. I thought it would be, yeah, it's probably too close to the house, but uh, we're gonna, what we're going to do to remedy the problem is we're going to take this pipe and make it bigger, longer. We're going to turn the whole machine, we're going to exhaust it, uh, direct it out here to go way, way out instead of this little short pipe. So we have to fix it. We have to remedy it because we don't want to move the whole thing because we already built this little house for it and we have the connection right here. So we really don't want to move the whole generator. So we have to uh, rig that pipe, the exhaust pipe, to go out because it was just too much smoke and you could smell it, the diesel. So that was the problem, but the generator worked fine, but the power wasn't even off for one hour, so we got lucky. Chickens are fine. I don't know how many chicks are in there right now, but I don't want to disturb them. I'll show you them another time. Garden's growing, growing, growing. Catherine's playing with some of her new toys she got yesterday. We bought her some things because we felt bad leaving her home. But no choice. Kids cannot go. They cannot travel yet because of the lockdown. You have to be 21 or older. But she likes her little, it's like an Etch-A-Sketch. Bought her a couple things. You like that cutting? Okay, good. Very good, very good. It's also Myrna that's here. It's her birthday today. So we have a little cake we're gonna do later. Oh, we got you a little swimming pool too, yeah. Okay, when you're ready for a bath, we're going to do it. Here, let me show it. That's for little ones. It's just a little one, just for you. And this for Yeah, me. that's for the beach. You forgot to close the thing. You forgot to close. Daddy, where did you take it out? Where did you take it out?
I'll take it out later, Captain. Not now. Okay, I'll take it out later. I said you forgot to close the green, the netting. You forgot to close it. That's Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy. That's Grace's brother. And that's Michelle. Grace's niece. Yeah, I did it because you forgot. I closed it. The middle is not closed. The middle. Jimmy does a lot around here, but he's absent-minded. And then when he's drinking the night before, he's really bad the next day. Just wants to sit around. So anyway, I hope I answered everybody's questions. And the reason I didn't post yesterday. Uh, you have any other questions? Feel free to ask. I'll videotape some of the painting of the second coat here when the workers get here. And also I'll probably be cutting the grass today because it's getting long again. It's kind of strange grass. It just gets these long strands in it. Some of it stays short. But it's good to get these long strands because they have grass seed in it. And when you cut it, it gets thicker. So everything's coming along. We got pretty much everything we needed in Kabatatuan. There was a couple things we couldn't get. And the day goes quick once you're there. Hours, hours, hours will go quick, quick, quick. So there's never enough time. But anyway, we did what we needed to do. We got Catherine's vitamins. We got some medication for me. We got groceries. So everything's good, folks. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for being interested in what's going on here in Dingaland, in this small province. Keep watching. Keep the questions coming. And most of all, keep subscribing if you haven't already. If you already have, please keep finding me some subscribers so I can grow this channel. So I can maybe get some better equipment and show you more stuff. So take care out there. Take care of your families. Take care of your friends. Take care of everybody, uh, yourself especially. And I appreciate your watching. I appreciate your questions, comments. So that's it till later. That's Dingaland Dan, Philippines Beach Bum out.